hello everyone so today we are going on to a relatively easier problem it's interview bit programming section heaps and maps problem so pause this video for a while and go through the problem statement and i'll explain it later so yeah we will understand it first through an example so basically you are given the array of bags basically uh, through this example we can understand that the first bag has six candies in it and the second bag will have five candies and you are given three units of time uh, to eat all those candies all right so at the first uh, instance of time that is t equals one the kid eats six chocolates from the first bag and the bag is filled with three chocolates again at the second unit of time he eats five chocolates from the second bag and the bag gets filled with two chocolates and at the third unit of time he would eat three chocolates from the first bag and now there will be it will be left with just one chocolate so in this way the uh, child will be able to eat a maximum of 14 candies so in this problem we basically need to store data in a fashion that we can always determine whether which bag has got the maximum number of chocolates if we can find that bag that contains the maximum number of chocolates at a given interval of time we can easily maximize the number of chocolates the kid is going to eat all right so it's simple we are gonna use priority queue for this and uh, we will be storing uh, in the collections dot reverse order basically uh, we are going to build your max heap so let us just make a queue of uh, uh, long type let me name it Q and priority Q since it's a max heap you're gonna do this We'll be storing our answer in a long variable. Initialize it to zero first. Now we are going to store. every value that is present within your array into the queue the priority queue and yeah we need to typecast it since it's an integer all right do it x this should be fine <coughs> all right now we are we will start counting the chocolates all right take a temporary long variable pull over the queue increase your answer with this temp variable and we'll be finally adding temp by 2 into the queue that's right yeah so we are almost done 
just need to make sure that we need to return answer modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so yep we have answer we'll do modulo math dot power 10 to the power 9 plus 7 brackets this is done and we need to typecast it to integer before we return it yep this looks nice to me let's just test it alright yep small minor error this should do let's just submit it and it's done thank you for watching the video please like and share thank you